All right, here I come again. I'm looking at week 14, exercise 94 in the guitar aerobics book. You know I'm having fun. So I caught a break on this one. I think I just played it once. I got it memorized. All right, here we go. <laughs> So those are unison bends, uh, played as eighth notes. You're hitting each one two times. One, two, or one, two. <laughs> There's six eighth notes, so you're going one and two and three and four and actually, yep, yep. There's there's eight downstrokes per measure. Just making sure. Sometimes there's tricky stuff the way this guy puts it together. So a unison bend, as you probably know, uh, would be like, uh, in this case, you play, you put your index finger on the second string, and that's your pitch, say like the 17th fret. <laughs> then uh, you go to third string, two frets above it, which would be 19, and you hit them at the same time, you bend that third string up until they become equal in pitch, like this. So when they're far apart, they like oscillate. The frequencies are kind of like, uh, whoa, 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 you know, it's going, it's, it's called a beat. So it's going like really fast, as it slows down, you know, fun. It's slower, ba 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 ba. When they're equal, ba. They're parallel. The frequencies are parallel, so that there's not that clash of, um, you know, sound frequency. We're trying to make the the pitch equal. All right. I don't know if I explained that very well, but here I go. I'm gonna hit it again. Less talk, more rock. <laughs> Eventually, you get your muscle memory, and you don't have to like strain to hear every one of them. You just feel, you know, where it's a. I always try to compare it to like a, a bass violin, you know, a string bass where you're playing up high with no frets, or a violin, or a viola, or a cello, or a trombone. How do you get it tuned? It's like your hand knows the positioning and, uh, you know, how far to slide that slide. Here I go, let's do it again. So I'm, well, I'll tell you, we're at 17, 15, 13, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5 for our index finger. That's our pitch. So it'd be like. And then I'm just making them as equal as I can without worrying too much about it. tune and then make them bring that pitch down on the third string so they're like equal and then they start kind of shaking so I'll, I'll mess around with that and the more out of tune I go the faster it oscillates slower they oscillate and when they're even if they're just a little off it can sound really nice just a slight you know curve but if it's really off it's kind of jarring you know when they're when the it's called like I say it's called a beat when the frequencies are beating against each other versus lining up nice you know they're not slamming on each other they're just lining up pretty close and it sounds pleasant kind of like a chorus pedal very much the same idea. So if you had 
you know, one person sing, ah, that would sound pretty reasonably straight. If you had 10 people singing, ah, uh, they'd be all a little out of tune and it would be just, it would sound huge. That's why it sounds kind of nice. They're slightly out of tune. The note just sounds bigger. And so that's kind of what we're doing is just making it sound more interesting and bigger when you do the unison bends. So that was exercise 94, string bending from week 14 of uh, guitar aerobics. I love it. I love it. I'm having fun.